It looks like Bella Thorne is all set to shake things up once again as the former Disney actress makes her way back to the movies. And surprise, surprise, she's starring in a thriller crime once again. But with the kind of promise she's shown in the genre, fans can't wait to see what she has up her sleeve this time around with the release of Rumble Through the Dark. Stay tuned till the end of this video for all of this and more. First up, what's Rumble Through the Dark all about? Gone are the days when Bella Thorne was Disney's sweetheart. If there's one thing that the actress has proven in her career, it's the fact that she sure knows how to act, taking on the grittiest roles and doing them justice. And with Rumble Through the Dark wrapping up production last year, it seems like the time is finally here for us to find out what the hype is all about. Starring Thorne opposite Aaron Eckhart, the action thriller is based on Michael Ferris Smith's novel The Fighter, directed by Graham and Parker Phillips. The film takes us through the life of a bare-knuckle cage fighter, played by Eckhart, who sets out to repay his debts to a local mob boss to save his family home from from being taken away. Right off the bat, the stakes in the film are high, and Thorne's character only adds to the storyline as she plays a carnival hustler who stumbles upon a murder that leads her to Eckhart's character. As far as Bella herself goes, the directors think of her as a fearless artist who will go to any lengths to portray her character as well as she can. In a statement, Graham and Parker said that watching Bella and Eckhart's chemistry develop as the story of the film progressed is going to translate on the screen and leave everyone stunned at how effortless List, the whole thing seems. From what we know, the film has wrapped up shooting, despite there being minor delays in the wake of Hurricane Ida, and we just can't wait for a release date at this point. Followed by a first look at the film. Now that the cat's out of the bag and we know who the protagonists of the upcoming thriller film are, a bunch of pictures from the sets of Rumble Through the Dark have been publicly released, and to say that the fans are excited would be an understatement. Set in the dark landscape of the Mississippi Delta, the first look images are raw and full of emotion, giving us an insight as to what the film is going to be like. At the same time, some other details about the plot have come to light. For instance, we now know that the name of Bella's character in the film is Annette, and she decides to join Jack Boucher, played by Eckhart, as he attempts to take over his family's estate by paying off his debts using his winnings from the ring. For Jack, cage fighting isn't just a game. It's a way for him to move up the ranks and earn enough money to get himself out of trouble. It's his desperation that leads him to the ring. But what he doesn't anticipate is how big he'll get once he's there with Jack's mother in the hospice and his house mortgage having gone unpaid for months on end. The pressure is real for our primary antagonist. In one of those images, we see Jack holding hands with his mother, hinting at the fact that this dynamic will prove to be an important one in the film. We also have Mary Ann Jean Baptiste playing the role of the mob boss Big Mama Sweet, who we find out is also the person who Jack owes a huge amount of money to. One of the images shows these two characters in a heated discussion, setting us up for some pretty Pretty serious drama. Up next, Bella reveals it all. In a recent interview with Variety, Bella went on to talk about why she made the decision to get on board with Rumble Through the Dark. The actress revealed that the script of the film was presented to her all the way back in 2021, and right off the bat, she fell in love with not just the story, but also the characters. According to Bella, she chooses her projects based on how they treat their female characters. If a female role is substantial in a film, that usually pushes Bella to take on the role. Sadly, though, the actress feels like there aren't enough scripts written for women in Hollywood, so she's always on the lookout for a different story that features strong female characters, much like her own self. Moving on to Eckhart gears up for the role. Of course, with the central story of the film revolving around a cage fighter played by Eckhart, it's no surprise that the actor had to go through one of the most intense preparation sessions before the filming started. But right off the bat, Graham and Parker knew that they wanted to hire a cast member who could take on the challenge and learn the art of the fight. The casting had to be just the right combination of physical and muscular strength, along with the ability to perform emotionally raw scenes in the film. According to the directors, even though they felt like Eckhart had been pushing himself way too much for one person to handle, crossing all physical and emotional boundaries, he ultimately came out on top because now he knows exactly the kind of determination and practice that goes into it all. In fact, the producer of the film, Cassian Elwes, went on to say that Eckhart was born to be a fighter. I guess we'll have to wait and watch for all his moves to be unveiled on the big screen, hopefully soon. Moving on to other news. Firstly, Bella Thorne and her new boyfriend engage in some serious PDA. After Bella and her ex-finale, Benjamin Moscolo, called things off earlier this year, the actress decided to go solo for a while, focusing on her career, family, and friends. But you know what they say about love? It just happens. The actress has recently made her new relationship public, and we're here for it. In true Bella Thorne fashion, the actress 
shared a bunch of R-rated videos and photos with her now boyfriend, Mark Ems, from their trip to the Dominican Republic that the couple took to celebrate Bella's birthday. And by the looks of it, the couple can't keep their hands off of each other. It's now been three months since Bella and Benjamin called it off, and while some people think that she and Mark are just casually passing their time in each other's company, it's pretty hard to miss the sparks that fly between these two. And well, after a string of failed relationships, we really hope that this one is it for Bella Thorne. Then, Lindsay Lohan makes her acting comeback. After 10 whole years, Lindsay Lohan has finally decided to come back to the world of acting now that some pretty turbulent years of her life have come to a halt. After starring in one of the greatest chick flicks of all time, Mean Girls, Lohan disappeared for a while as she dealt with some personal issues. However, it's pretty obvious that she still has that wow factor about her because, with the announcement of her new film, Falling for Christmas, that's going to be out November 10th, the entire world is ready for the rom-com queen to come in and claim her throne back. Loanne plays the role of Sierra in the film, a spoiled hotel heiress who develops amnesia after getting injured in a ski accident. With no memory of who she was or where she came from, Sierra happens to come across a ski lodge owner named Jake and his young daughter, who welcome her into their home just in time for Christmas. According to Lohan herself, working for Falling for Christmas made her feel like she was back in the early days of her career when she absolutely dominated these kinds of roles. Lastly, Bella and her ex-fiancé star in the game of love. Bella and Benjamin might have called things off, but work is work. The ex-couple is all set to star in a movie called Game of Love, where Bella plays the role of the mysterious Vivian, and Moscolo plays the role of her partner, Roy. The film follows the couple visiting Roy's family home in Sicily so he can start working on getting the estate sold. However, the twist in the story comes when Vivian becomes friends with a mysterious woman who Roy doesn't seem to like all that much. The film follows the two central characters as they confront their own inner demons and face aspects of the relationship that they didn't even know existed. Now, as interesting as the plot sounds, we can't help but wonder how the two exes feel about the entire world. Seeing them as a couple once again must be a pretty bittersweet feeling, right? That's a wrap for this video. Are you excited to see Bella Thorne and Aaron Eckhart together on the big screen? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. See you next time. Until then, bye!